Would you like to be able to save time when managing dev and test database environments? Hello, my name is David Teague, Technical Marketing Engineer at Nutanix. And creating and managing dev database environments takes up a lot of a valuable database administrator's time. But you know what? Nutanix Era can save time with that. So let's jump right in and see how it works. From the Era console, let's head into the database tab. Let's say you just got a request from the audit department to create another clone of the CRM database so they can test some new procedures. We're going to click into the database overview page. Here we can see all the information about this CRM database, including what version of Oracle it is, the database instances that are part of the cluster, and how to connect to it. We are going to select the time machine to create a clone of this database for the audit department. The dates highlighted show the snapshots that are available on the production and Nutanix cluster. We are going to choose the audit cluster to see what is available for snapshots on that cluster. Then go to action and choose create single instance database clone. The audit department wants the most recent clone of their database, so we will click most recent and choose that snapshot, then click next. On the next screen, we will set a name for the VM, choose a compute profile, set the network profile and SSH key, and click next. The network and compute profiles, like all profiles in ERA, are customizable to your environment. On this screen, we will choose the database name. I know there are already nine clones of this database, so we're gonna label this number 10. The audit department told us they would like the data refresh from the source database every seven days. Arrow will let us set a schedule to do that automatically without any action from us. They also let us know they would only need the database for two weeks. We can set a removal schedule so that the database is removed from ERA, and if it was created with a new VM, it will remove that VM as well. I'm going to set it 30 days to give us a buffer just in case. The schedule and database removal settings can be changed after the fact. Now let's set a system password and choose the database parameter profile. The next screen allows you to sign tags. I'm just going to put dev project under the tags. You can create any tag categories you like to fit your environment. Then we will click clone to start the process. From the operations screen, you can see the process of the job. Clone creation is quick and space efficient because it uses the Nutanix cluster native snapshot capability. We did speed this up for the video, but as you can see, it took about five minutes to create the cloned database. The new clone database is created. So let's choose the database menu, then the clone section. Here you can track all the clones created by ERA, including which time machine the clone was created from and the cluster the clone is on and when it was last refreshed. If we select the clone we created, we can go into the clone overview page, which has a lot of the same information as the database overview page. From here, you can choose the refresh button which will refresh the clone for the most recent source database snapshot on this cluster with just a few clicks. If you need to change, add, or remove the refresh schedule or the database removal date, you can do that under the Schedules tab. Ares clones are space efficient since they only track the differences from the source database. As you can see on the clone overview page, this clone is only using 50 gigs of data, not the 235 gigs like the source database. If we go to the main dashboard in the data usage area, we can see how much space all of the clones in ERA are using and their space savings. With Nutanix ERA, you can manage all of your database environments. You can deploy space-efficient clones quickly and easily for your dev, test, and QA needs. These take advantage of the profiles that are inside of Nutanix ERA to give you standardization across all of those environments. You can try this out for yourself at our test drive site at nutanix.com slash test era. Thank you for watching.